Hi, I'm Jen from Fair Oaks, California, and today I'll be sharing with you a super special recipe I created for my little girl, Kaya. Philadelphia cream cheese, peanut butter topped, brown sugar baked, banana brownie mini muffins. I know that's a mouthful, but it's a tasty one. So the first step to this recipe is we will go ahead and pre prepare our banana by removing the peel, slicing into about half inch slices, and then topping with unsalted, I prefer, uh, butter, along with some brown sugar. Of course, if you were to be using more bananas, you could just go ahead and use a larger baking dish. I'm going to rinse my hands just real quickly here. And we'll go ahead and top it off with our unsalted butter. Just do little dabs on top of each brown banana. All right. Those are looking good. We'll get these sprinkled and into the oven. Those will roast for about 25-30 minutes until just slightly golden and bubbly. And the house will be filled with an aroma. You're just going to have to try this at home on your own to find out what that smells like. You could use light or dark brown sugar. The dark would just enhance the flavor a little bit more. There we are into the oven. Top wrap right in the center. We will see you in about 30 minutes. So to begin our brownies, uh, we are going to start off with three one ounce unsweetened chocolate squares into a small or medium nonstick baking saucepan, and along with one uh, stick of unsalted butter. And I'm simply just going to combine both of these over low heat, um, basically stirring constantly until I get a smooth, consistent texture. And then we'll take it off from the heat and let it cool slightly. So now I'm going to go ahead and transfer this over to our stove top and place that on low heat and we'll just get that melting. This should take 5-7 mm, minutes at the most and you'll just want to be sure to, be, to stir constantly. It's your safest bet. We don't want any burnt chocolate here. And now I've just gotten our melted chocolate all down to the smooth consistency. If you want to Take a look how that looks. We'll go ahead and transfer this over here and set it aside because we're going to need for that to cool almost completely as we are going to put eggs and sugar and vanilla into it. So now while this cools, we've got just a few more minutes while our bananas continue to finish off their baking process. And here, I'm going to go ahead and prepare our dry ingredients that we'll be going to mix with our wet ingredients. I've got two thirds cup of all purpose flour. Go ahead and add this to our mixing bowl, along with one teaspoon of baking soda. Give a nice little puff to our brownies. Get that set aside. So I can definitely smell our bananas. Those are ready to come out of the oven. So I'm going to go ahead and transfer our dry ingredients aside. Look at these. Bubbly and Golden delicious. That's why Kaya loves this recipe. Bananas, chocolate, peanut butter, cream cheese. Who wouldn't? All right. Those are all nicely mashed. And it looks as though our chocolate is also cool enough to go ahead and integrate the rest of the ingredients. So I'm going to slowly add my sugar with this. Stir it up until it's completely dissolved. It's going to thicken up on you here, but that's okay. We are making brownies. So now I've got two eggs here cracked into my bowl. I'm going to add one at a time. I usually use spatulas or even a wooden, a wooden spoon often works best when you're doing dishes like this. And get our second egg. Once we incorporate that, all we've got to do is add our vanilla and our mashed brown sugar bananas. And then we'll then incorporate this wet into our dry. It's asking for the bananas now. Make sure this is still pretty warm. So go ahead and get these bananas in there. So now that these bananas are nicely incorporated throughout this mixture here, I'm going to go ahead and add our last ingredient, vanilla extract. And that's 
going to go ahead and enhance that natural chocolate flavor. Okay, and so now that's all incorporated. We're going to go ahead and add our wet and dry ingredients together. Go ahead and pour our wet into our dry. All right, we've got all of that chocolate in there. Now we've got our wet and dry ingredients. We're going to go ahead and fold these together just until they're combined. Batter may be slightly lumpy and that's just fine. And right next to me here, I have got my paper lined mini muffins that we're going to fill with this delicious banana brownie batter. So now I've got two regular tablespoons and I'm going to go ahead and use the both of them. One to go ahead and scoop about a tablespoon's worth. You do want to make sure though just to fill it about halfway full. We don't want any mini muffins over overflowing. So now we're all set to place our mini muffins into our 350 degree heated oven. And now for the most special part of this fabulous recipe, I'm going to go ahead and take our Philadelphia cream cheese at room temperature and we're going to put this in a small mixing bowl. Whoop. It's ready to come on out of there, isn't it? <laughs> and this is 8 ounces, in case I did not mention, 8 ounces of Philadelphia cream cheese. There you go, into the bowl. And to pair with this lovely creamy goodness, we're going to go ahead and add a half a cup of creamy peanut butter, okay. as well as three tablespoons of powdered sugar, just to help it get a little bit of sweet. Got our handheld mixer here. Get this beat until nice and smooth. ready to go once you've achieved a nice tan light color and it's of course very smooth. So now we're going to go ahead and get these beaters cleaned off. So now I'm going to also go ahead and use my spatula to continue incorporating this. Although our beaters have done that for us, we just want to ensure that it's all smooth and evenly incorporated. All right. So now that we have our Philadelphia cream cheese, peanut butter, spread all ready to go. We'll go ahead and set that aside and wait for those brownies to be ready. And in the meantime, I've got a half a cup of regular peanuts salted and we're going to go ahead and place these into a Ziploc baggie. And using my mallet here, I'm just going to get a little aggression out and give these a nice little pound. So it looks like everything's prepared. We're just waiting for our mini muffins to get out of that oven. And once they've cooled for about 10 minutes on a wire on a wire rack, we'll be ready to schmear with our Philadelphia cream cheese peanut butter and sprinkle with a little bit of salted peanut. All right, so it's been just about after 20 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at our mini muffins here. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Smells just like a brownie. Looks like a mini muffin. So we'll go ahead and place this on our wire rack and let that cool just about 10 minutes. So now for the best part our mini muffins are all ready to be smeared with our Philadelphia cream cheese peanut butter frosting. And we'll go ahead and finish these all off with our garnish of the salted chopped peanuts. I'd like to thank everyone for joining me in my California kitchen today, as well as a huge thanks to Paula Dean and Philadelphia cream cheese for this amazing opportunity at potentially becoming one of the real women of Philadelphia.